Hi, my name is Ivan Van Norman, and this is a quick overview of Potion Explosion. Now, Potion Explosion is a delightful, dynamic game by Lorenzo Silva of Resource Management and Marbles. In Potion Explosion, you are an apprentice alchemist attempting to complete as many potions as you can by filling in these slots with ingredients, getting either combinations of three of a kind or five of a different type in order to receive a final skill point and trigger the end game. Now, to complete potions, players will grab these multicolored marbles and place them on their potion tiles. Once all of the slots have been filled, they go into the player's scoring area to be counted at the end of the game. Now, to set up, separate each potion type into a stack and randomly, or by choice, remove two types from the game. You'll now have six stacks of potions. Take two of each of the starter type of potions, denoted by these little stars here, and lay them out for each player to see. Starting with the first player to have recently prepared a drink, take one of the starting potions and go clockwise. Then, starting with the last player, pick a second potion and continue going counterclockwise back to the first. Now place both of these potions in your lab, lay out the little help tokens and skill tokens for easy reach, then stack the amount of skill tokens into a pile based on players. Now let's grab some marbles. A player turn consists of two actions, picking and placing. An inspiring alchemist grabs an ingredient from the dispenser, and if any similar colors clash into each other, they explode, allowing the alchemist to grab those ingredients as well, continuing to collect any more that may explode in the meantime. Now, if this feels like a matching game you'd play on your phone, that's not too far away from the truth. The difference is, is that after you have the marbles in your hand, you get to place them onto your recipe, potentially completing any potions and leaving any leftovers in the speaker right here. Now, if you find your choices lacking, you can either before or after your primary pick get a little help from the professor and allow you to grab an extra ingredient that will not create any explosions. However, you also get negative two points at the end of the game scoring. Completed potions can be drunk any time during the round, even after they've been immediately completed, granting special abilities, but only a max of two potions can be completed in any single round. And if at the end of the round, you have any marbles left over in your waiting area you'd like to place into new potions or replace any that you may have in your hand, you may do so. But any that are left over and still in your hand are put back into the dispenser for further use. Make sure you've got one or two new potions from the deck if any have been completed and move on to the next turn. Finally, if you've managed to earn a skill, either three of a kind or five different, grab one of the skill tokens off of the stack. Once all of the skill tokens have been taken, the end game is triggered. And the last person to take a turn is the person who is the right of the first player even if that player is the person who took the last skill token. So count up all of your points, and the most pointified alchemist student wins. And that's it! You've played Potion Explosion by Horrible Games. I have to say, your company name is very misleading. I find this game quite unhorrible. And should you choose to pick up this game, I hope to have managed to reduce your nose time in the rulebook. And as always, if you liked this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. If you'd like to see this game played live, make sure to check out Game the Game every Thursday on twitch.tv slash geekandsundry. And until then, roll dice and play nuts.